Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Sadducees verse Pharisees verse John the Baptist. Who had the truth? Acts 23 and 6. But when Paul perceived that the one part were Sadducees and the other Pharisees, he cried out in the council, Men and brethren, I am a Pharisee, the son of a Pharisee, of the hope and resurrection of the dead. I am called in question. Let's focus on Sadducees. In the Greek, Strong's G forty five twenty three, Sadukaios, Sadukaios. Okay, according to outline of biblical usage, a religious party at the time of Mashiach among the Jews who denied that the oral law was a revelation of the Most High to the Israelites, and the reason why they did so is because they lacked the Holy Spirit and who deemed the written law alone to be obligatory on the nation as the divine authority. They denied the following doctrines, resurrection of the body. So the Sadducees did not believe in the resurrection. Let's prove this theory wrong. John 2 and 19, Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, referring to his body, and in three days I will raise it up. Okay? So according to Yahweh Shah, there is a such thing as the resurrection. Okay? immortality of the soul all right now this is correct this theory that they believe in was correct and let's prove this let's go to the book of job three and eleven why died i not from the womb why did I not give up the spirit when I came out of the belly? I'm going to jump down. Well, I'll continue. Verse 12. Why did the knees prevent me? Or why the breasts that I should suck? For now should I have lain still and been quiet. I should have slept. Then had I been at rest with kings and counselors of the earth which built desolate places for themselves or with princes that had gold who filled their houses with silver or as in hidden untimely birth I had not been as infants which never saw light there the wicked cease from troubling and there the weary be at rest there the prisoners rest together they hear not the voice of the oppressor the small and great are there, and the servant is free from his master. This is the spirit world, okay? The third heaven or the fourth dimension, okay? So once we die, we go to the spirit world, okay? So according to them, Believing in the immortality of the soul, this is correct. Okay, they denied the following doctrines. Let's jump to three, existence of spirits and angels. They did not believe in spirits and angels. Let's go to... Psalm um, 
103. Yeah, my bad. Psalms 103 and 20. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Okay, so according to Psalms 103 and verse 20, they are going off. Okay, because angels are spirits and spirits are angels. All right. Also, they deny the following, such as for divine predestination. Okay. Let's prove this wrong. Let's go to the book of Ephesians. One and four. According as he have chosen us in him. Let's start at verse three. Blessed be the power and the father of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Mashiach, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. This is predestination, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Mashiach to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Okay. So regarding the Sadducees belief system in divine predestination, they were going off. They affirmed free will. Okay. And let's prove that wrong. Let's go to Proverbs. Twenty and twenty-four, man's goings are of the Lord Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? All right. So, in a nutshell, the Sadducees did not have the truth. All right. Let's focus on Pharisees in the Greek. Strong's G, 5330. Pharisaios. Pharisaios. Okay, and it states, according to outline of biblical usage, a sect that seems to have started after the Jew exile. In addition to OT books, the Pharisees recognized an oral tradition, a standard of belief in life. They sought for distinction and praised by outward observance of external rites and by outward forms of piety, and such as ceremonial washings, fastings, prayers, and alms giving, and comparatively negligence of genuine piety. They prided themselves on their fancied good works. Okay, so they were extremely carnal, okay? And this is why you know what? Let's go back into scriptures. Matthew 23 and 14 Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. So Yahweh Shah was rebuking the Pharisees. Why? Because they did not have the truth. 
Okay, they were not spiritual. All right. They held strenuously to a belief in the existence of good and evil angels. Okay, that's correct. And to the expectation of a Messiah. Okay. And they cherished the hope that the dead, after a preliminary experience, either of reward or of penalty in Hades, would be recalled to life by him. All right. When you die or when we die, we return to the spirit world. Okay, point blank period. Let's prove that. Um, let's lock in. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, referring to our bodies, and the spirit shall return unto the Most High who gave it. When we all die, our spirit, okay, return back to the Most High, okay, and we are before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shah. Let's go back. would be recalled to life by him and be requited each according to his individual deeds in opposition to the usurped dominion of the Her Herods and the rule of the Romans. They stoutly upheld the theocracy and their country's cause and possessed great influence with the common people. According to Josephus, they numbered more than 6,000. They were bitter enemies of Yahweh Shai and his cause. Okay, so right there proves that the spirit was not with them. All right. And it states, and were in turn severely rebuked by him for their avarice ambition, hollow reliance on outward works and affection of piety in order to gain popularity. All right, let's go to Matthew. Twenty three. You know what? And I read fourteen again. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. All right, let's go back. To Matthew 23 and 1. Then spake Yahweh Shah to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. Okay? So, the Pharisees did not have the truth. And they were more carnal than anything, okay? And they was preaching to be about the law, but they were doing things to offend in the law, all right? Another point. Matthew 23 and 
Matthew 23 and 13. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Okay, so the Pharisees did not have the truth, nor the Sadducees. All right. Let's go to the book of John. You know what? Let's get a better. Well, not a better, but let's get another scripture. This is Luke 1 and 12. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled in fear, and fear fell upon him. Why? Because Zacharias saw an angel. All right. 13. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. All right. Let's get an overview on John. According to the Greek, Strong's G 2491, Ioannes, Ioannes. All right, it states. According to outline of biblical usage, the John the Baptist was the son of Zacharias and Elizabeth, the forerunner of Mashiach. Okay, so John was the forerunner of Mashiach. Okay, this alone proves that he was sent. Okay, and according to the angel. Okay, verse 14, and thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. Verse 15, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their power. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. All right. This alone proves that John the Baptist had the truth. Okay. Because the Sadducees. Okay, we're not forerunners of Yahweh Shai. The Pharisees were not forerunners of Yahweh Shai. Only John the Baptist. And this was explained to Zacharias, John's father, by an angel. Let's prove it by another point. Let's go to John 1 and 6. There was a man sent from the Most High whose name was John. So you can classify John the Baptist as the first unofficial apostle. Okay, let's go to John 3 and 26. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptized, and all men come to him. Verse 27, John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said I am not the Mashiach, but that I am sent before him. So who sent John the Baptist? Yahweh, our father. And he was sent as a forerunner, okay, for Yahweh Shai. 
So John the Baptist only had the truth. Okay? That is the reason why he was classified as the forerunner of Yahushua. Lord willing, you are edified. Shalom.